Here we go! video for you guys all right and before we get into it make sure you guys like comment and subscribe and cut on the bell notification so you can get notifications when I post a video all right now look today's video I will be showing you guys the best six in NBA 2k22 all right but like I said the uh, six in 2k22 right now in season eight yeah if you don't have the best six, you really you know you don't really have a chance of winning twos game threes game or just my career period all right now you can get a lot of speed boosts out of different six you can do you know a lot of combos out of different six and one thing i will always tell you is to do try every six and just see what say you know signature works for you all right because not not every signature works for everybody not everybody can dribble you know really really fast or really really good like other people all right so that's why i said like just you know just try different saves and just see which uh signatures work for you because like i said not every sig works for everybody all right so let's go ahead and look at the signatures right quick let's go to my player let's go to not just i create an animation store right here wait for it to load wait for it to load and then right here now playmaking moves dribble style now the dribble style i've been using all year is quick because the reason why like these other ones it no they just not it they just no doesn't really don't do it like quick quick is just the best thing to do is just because it helps you so you won't get yeah, it helps you so you won't get like rip the ball rip from you and things like that all right now i only thing i say don't i recommend don't using this base power and fundamental the other that these three don't use or in big but the other ones you can try out for yourself and see which one you like but to me quick is the best thing to use moving crossovers now they did i think they added a no they didn't add another one for season eight but for me, I've been using it all year. You can either use the Giannis one, which to me, I think is one of the best, or LeBron's. LeBron's moving crossover has been one of the best in game because like, it just created a lot of separation, especially when you're playing. Because I play a lot of threes, and when, like, when I'm coming up, up the court, it helps me get separation from like the lockdown defenders and things like that. Now, like I said, LeBron's and Giannis is probably one of the best in the game. Now, Curry's is in the, in the top three too, but I feel like LeBron's is the best one to use. Especially if you're like a me, me, a playmaker, shot creator. Now moving behind the backs, this one has been a no-brainer for like the past, I think three since they added it, and it's either been Kawhi Leonard's. You guys can use that is not his behind the back. There you go right there, that one. Or you can guys, or to me that I've been using for the past, I don't know, two seasons, three seasons is a Scotty Pippen one. And the reason why is because it's so close, you because you won't get ripped. Cause I would think with the Kawhi Leonard one, it's wide. It's like a wide one, but it's like fast. But like I don't know, Scotty Pippen is just it just moves different in game, especially if you play a lot of threes like me. Scotty Pippen, I believe, is one of the best. But you also gonna use Kawhi Leonard, all right? The other ones moving step backs. Okay, moving step back, they added Steph Curry. Now Curry's is a good one, but I don't recommend using it. You know, I, I don't. Maybe like a year ago you probably could have used it. Like last year's 2K21, but it's not as good as it is as it was last year, all right? So to me. Only ones that I'm, one I've been using is James Harden, and the reason why because you got like a double step back with it, either his or like Luka Doncic. Because the reason why because Luka he get you can get like you can cry people with it. Like when he do like a, that move right there, you can get in front of the defenders. You can activate your blinders badge, and you can get easy threes out of it. But like also him and Harden got the double step backs out of it. So like I said, either which one of these two, but like not Curry's. Only Doncic and Harden. The rest of them really don't have to worry about. But like I say, always try out all the ones and just see which ones to you that you like using on your mob player because everybody can't, you know, don't dribble fast and do all that. Because me, I'm a pass first guard. I only score when I like really need to, but I don't really like scoring that much. Uh, for the moving spins, now it really just depends. If you're like a combo guy, if you like to combo a lot, I don't know which one. Either one, I think, believe, if I'm not mistaken, maybe it is. I don't know, maybe John Walls, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, but one of these moving spins that helps you get a good combo out of it. Me, I don't really do too many combos that much, so I don't really mess with the moving spins. And then for the uh, moving hesitations, now with this, 
you can use different ones. I use Kevin Durant's because like, sometimes you can, you know, combo out of it. But like other ones you can use, uh, I don't know. I don't, they didn't drop off a of season eight, but I've just been using Kevin Durant for the whole year. And then for signature size up, what I've been using is, let me see if I can find it, is either Kobe's. Uh, yeah, either Kobe's, because he get that, that right there, uh, that the between the legs, you can do that multiple times. And then you got, who is it, Paul, not Paul George, uh, Steve Francis's. Now, he was good, I think, last season, but it's really not as good. But the best one to, to you, because since they dropped John Moran and Jamal Murray, is the D-Rose one. D-Rose is the best one to use. There's no question about it. He just get like, you can do so many uh, combos out of it, and it's just it's fast. You won't get ripped. Not, even if you're, uh, uh, your dribbling is low, D Roses, it will, he just, I don't know, it's just really, really fast. Now, the season eight releases, John Walls is not good. Don't do it, it's too slow. Now, Jay Williams is not bad either. Like, right there, this is not bad. Now, you can either use this one or Derek Roses, but I, I definitely recommend using uh dick roses now the other season eight john Morant and jamal murray just don't use it like john Morant is somewhat it's really similar to john walls but i don't recommend using neither besides jay williams or the, like the, the season eight jay williams or the dick rose all right now for the signature combo now i use my signature combo so i can like somewhat speed glitch out of it all right so but they added a steph curry one which is it's good it's cool it's not the best but you can definitely can try it out if you want to. But I've been using Baron Davis's because, like, as you guys can see, he go between legs so fast, and I can do so many like left and right things like that with it. You also could use Steve Francis, but it's like it's just it's doing too much. Some of these are just like it's too much where they're going all the way out with the ball, and your player going too far. It's just like I said, it's too much. So, like I said, uh, you could definitely can try out different ones and just see which one you like. But like. I feel like the Baron Davis one is one of the best ones, and uh, maybe Trey Young. But like I said, just try to find one that's not too like flashy. Just something that's gonna get, you know, you can combo out of it and just get the ball in the hoop. And let me see anything that oh size up escape packages, escape packages. What I've been using is either Curry or Kobe Bryant. Either one of these two you guys can use. And they added Kyrie's. Now Kyrie's is not bad, but like I said. Now the thing with Kyrie's is, now you see this move right there. That move right there, it helps you like get in front of people so you can crab. And basically, what a crab is, you, you know, you you get in front of your, your defender, and he goes behind you, and basically you activate blindish, and the bar is gonna go in, and it will not be contested. So like I said, I've been using Trey Youngs, or you can, guys can use. I'm probably gonna get Kyrie after this, but yeah, but like I said, you also can try out different. You know different uh you know ones in here just see which one like i said you guys like the best and then last but not oh yeah last but not least is triple threat styles and with the triple threat styles you guys definitely i don't know you can try out all of them i really don't know what's the difference between any of them if, if you're even going to do triple threat styles in game but i just use the normal one I, I don't really mess with it and then park flashy passes uh just really just what you like uh I haven't even bought now. I don't know. Maybe get the Cape Pass one. I don't know. It, it's just it's a preference thing. Which ones you guys like the most? Let me go ahead and go to my mic core, and I will see you guys there. Okay, here we are at the mic core. So I'm going to show you guys the go to you no know, ball machine right here. I'm going to show you guys like some of the dribble moves and why I got them and why I use them like you know in game. Because like I said, everybody dribble different. Some people might dribble the same. But like I know like the comp guard stage guards they use like the dead crows and stuff like that. But like me, I, I don't really I haven't played comp that much this year. I played it so I played a lot last year or maybe I think it was 19. I'm, I know I'm going to be playing a lot comp of uh, uh, next year at 2K23. But this year I haven't played too much because I play a lot of my team. And like I said right here now with this move I'm going to show you guys right here. This that's the Kobe size of uh, skate package. And the reason why I got that is because when you do this move hold on, right there, you can get in front of your opponent easy and you can activate the blinders. And like I said, with the Derrick Rose uh, move right here, like the, like I said, now you see I can go back and forth really fast. I can do so many combos out of it. And it's hard for you, like, anybody to try to rip me. And that's just one of the reasons why Derrick Rose is, is one of the best in the game and why I've been using it. And with the behind the back, like I said, like right here, let me go ahead and do right here. No, not that, not that. That's the uh, wrong one. Right here, right there, boom. That's the Scotty Pippins. Like I said, you can use it. I've been playing a lot of threes this year, so like I said, I use my behind the back a lot. 
And then like with the moving crossover, I use the bronze, but you definitely can use other people. It's like right there. You can use it um like you guys see right there. Like I said, moving crossover is, is really it's preference based what you like to use. But uh and uh yeah. Now the last but not la last but not least thing that I I use is the signature combo. And it's right here. Let's go ahead and do it. Right here. Boom. Click the left trigger. And you can do so much out of it. Boom. Right there. Now you see that little combo idea right there. You can create so much separation just by doing that little bit, that little combo right there. Click the left trigger, and then just find out what side you know your opponent, your defender is guarding, and then hit the little, hit the Kobe boom thing right here in the front of your opponent, and it's an easy green. All right. So like I said, these are the signature combos you guys should be using in NBA 2K22 Season 8. I uh, like I said, you always can try out different ones to see which one you guys like the most. Because like I said, not everybody dribbles the same. And uh, yeah, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And comment down below if these six work for you guys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.